Hello everyone, this is a Geek Must Have with a project build video where you can watch me make this battery powered, rechargeable, very portable, fully adjustable power supply. This do-it-yourself portable power supply uses standard parts from AliExpress and was fairly easy to put together. Let's take a look inside of the unit to see how it's built. There are the two 18650 batteries that power it, the 9 volt battery that is used to power the LED volt amp meter, so it's isolated from the power that supplies the unit. When we zoom into the unit, we can see this lithium power charger and protection circuit for two series batteries powered through the 2.1 millimeter jack that's mounted on the side. The buck boost converter, the 10K helipot to adjust the voltage, the USB adapter, the 2.1 millimeter and the banana jacks, and the double pole double throw power switch. I decided to house the project in these aluminum tins that I got that were made for tobacco. They're pretty well built and have some reinforced edges. The heart of this project is the XL6009 buck boost converter that takes in uh, up to 25 volts and will generate up to 29 or 37 volts. It's adjustable with that little blue trimmer pot in the lower part. Here are the specifications for the XL6009. The part I like best, it's $1.60. The project is powered with a pair of these 18650 batteries, which I have uh, decided to use these battery cases because I bought a shithouse full of them and I have to use them now. They claim 2,000 milliamps. Also a... 9 volt battery that's used to power the LED display to keep the power separate and a set of these heavy duty banana jacks to have the output. The display used for this project is one of these volt amp meters that you can get from AliExpress. This one is 100 volts and 10 amps. Very nice unit. When it's hooked up to the 9 volt battery, this is what the display looks like. The voltage segments are in red and the amperage segments are in blue. Another important element of this build is this 10K helipot, which is a special potentiometer that has 10 turns on it to allow you to finely tune down to the resistance on the 10K. It also comes with a really nice knob that makes it easier for you to tune in the voltage that you're looking for and has a locking knob on the side. This is the wiring diagram with the two 18650 batteries there that should develop like 7.4 volts at 2 amps, a lithium charger for a 2 series battery charger the buck boost converter, the XL6009, connected with the 10K helipot, replacing the one on the circuit board, and the digital LED display for voltage and amps being powered from the 9 volt battery. This is the layout for the panel of the power supply. I decided to go vertical and put the power supply charging jack on the side, 2.1 millimeter. Put the display at the top where there was room, the helipod on one side, 2.1 millimeter, USB and banana jacks, and the on off switch to power it. I decided it would be a good idea to test the XL6009. We'll verify the voltage going in at 7.6 volts. And then by adjusting the trimmer pot in a clockwise position, we cause the voltage being generated to go up. 
and by adjusting it in the counterclockwise position, we can get the voltage to turn down. And it's possible with minor adjustments of the pot to tune in the voltage to just what you want it to be. I desoldered the trimmer pot from the board, extended the wires out to the 10K trimmer pot, and it's reading 33 volts already. When I adjust it, it shows the pot is working. Here is the lid on the project after I cut out the holes for the meter and the USB with a Dremel and drilled out the holes with uh, my drill press. I test fit all of the components on the case to make certain that everything fit with the case opened and closed. Here is the panel with the carbon fiber applied. The corners are a problem. Also, it's a good idea to trim some from the inside lip out so that the case will close. I left material in to insulate the banana jacks when I put them in. To do the bottom of the case, I started with a paper template and verified that the fit was good. I then transferred it to the vinyl and cut it out. I scored the paper back of the vinyl in order to make it fold sharper and cleaner. I peeled off only the center portion and applied it down, getting all the air bubbles out and working on the corners. After working on the corners, I got it to fit pretty well, and then it was time to work on the sides. Got one of the ends folded down flat and smooth. When applying the vinyl, special attention has to be taken to the lip to get it to fit right and the corners, and it's a good idea to crease it so that when you fold the flap over, it will lay flat. To get all of the corners to fit right, I used a liberal amount of super glue with a needle tip to make it easier to apply. After I was done with the super glue and working on it a bit, it turned out pretty well with the exception of a few spaces on the side. And now it's time for the final assembly. I am going to press fit the meter into place and it clicks in pretty solid. It is not going to come loose whatsoever. Then I'll wire the double pull, double throw switch on the unit. One of the most difficult things to mount on this panel was the full size USB jack. I always have problems with these. I ended up using power screwdrivers, but I got it mounted. The 2.1 millimeter power jack is pretty much a snap to put in. It fits very well. This is the final fitting of all the parts on the power supply. I think it turned out pretty well, and the carbon fiber gives the project a very nice look. Now it's time to test the unit, and we'll do that by hooking a voltmeter up to it and seeing whether the voltage is close. And we turn it on, and it starts at about 8 volts, and it's close. But let's turn it down a little bit and get to 5 volts and find out if we're close. And I believe that at 5 volts, we'll be spot on. We need to see if this unit will measure amperage correctly. So we'll hook a load up to it, this 7-inch tablet that needs a charge. And we'll use the standard USB connector and plug it into that pain in the ass USB port on the front. And when we do that, we'll see what type of a load this takes. And it takes 0.47 amps. And the tablet turns on to let us know it's being charged. Let's validate the amperage by using this external USB volt amp tester. Plug it in the middle and see how close it is. And it's fairly close. And as far as I'm concerned, it's close enough. Let's play with the voltage a little bit and see what happens. Dial it up a little bit and it dials up. And this is working very nicely. This is the do-it-yourself portable, fully adjustable power supply that I built for about $40 worth of parts. Yeah, learned a lot 
and it was a lot of fun to do.